Hello everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. I know it's been a minute since I have posted a new video, but if you are interested in seeing how I did this cute little Mother's Day word search, stand by. Okay, so what you'll need to complete this project is some plexiglass. So I purchased this off of Amazon. I will put the link down below in the description box. You will need some um, 651 vinyl, any color that you want. Um, you'll need some for the letters and you'll need some for the paint strokes. You'll need um, a computer and some transfer tape. And I believe that is all. Oh, and of course, a weed picker and something to brandish your vinyl onto your transfer tape. I believe that is all. If there's anything else that you need, I will definitely put it down in the description box below. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go to the computer so I can show you how to set everything up. So for this part, you will need Google. So let me go ahead and take that down and go to this one all right so i went to a word search maker and for here for this one you have to kind of sign in sign up and stuff like that um it only allows you to download twice in a month unless you try the premium um i am not going to try the premium the premium if you wanted to try it let me just show you is eight dollars a month no commitment cancel anytime or five dollars a month annually so you would pay what like sixty dollars one time or whatever and then you can get like multiple downloads so this is so if you're like a teacher and you can download other things from here um, and do other things because so it's education.com um i tried to find a different word search creator but the other ones i found i didn't really like um I like this one the best because it allows you to download and it's kind of concise and I like the size of the letters. So I will continue to try to search for a different word search maker and let you know. Um, but if you find one that you like, go ahead and put it down there in the comments and I'll check it out. But anyway, I went ahead and put the words that I wanted to put into the word search. So you just type your words in here in this box here. And then you can uncheck use diagonals and it'll just uh, um, allow the words to go across or down versus diagonal. Um, and then you can change it to uppercase or lowercase. I pick uppercase here. And so for this puzzle, I believe it is doing diagonal. So I already downloaded it. Um, and then you can see where the answer key, where your stuff is at. So it'll help you with like the final step if you're not real good at word searches, but it's five words, so it shouldn't be too challenging. Um, but then you'll hit download worksheet. It'll download wherever your downloads go, and then you can open it up. So I open it up here. And then what I'll do is just go across it in a copy and paste mode. And with Apple, you'll hit command C and it'll copy your um, words. And then I'll go ahead and close that out. And then we'll get back to Cricut Design Space. Um, so for the particular plexiglass that I use is five by seven. You can use whatever size you want, four by six, three by five, eight by 10, whatever. Just make your square that shape. So unlock here and what is it? Five across seven down enter so that is the shape that you're working with so that is what size you'll need to fit your words in and then you'll go to text open up your text box hit command v paste your words in there or your letters i should say and then you're basically just going to shrink it down to fit your square or your rectangle so let me actually make this white and make it just a little bit bigger and fit it in here. 
and you don't particularly have to use a make your word search. You can just put random letters in there and um, yeah, you can just put random letters in there and put your words in there. But I felt as though making the word search was a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and center that. You can center it or you can align it left, right, however you choose. So I kind of like that. There. Just want to make sure I like the way that looks. All right. So that part of the word search is done. So then when you want to do the... Um, paint slashes behind it or the circles behind it you will just insert the um brush paint the you would insert that into the system so let me go ahead and do that real quick google and you would type in paint stroke png and it doesn't particularly matter what color you pick because you'll use your vinyl to choose that color but you just want to make sure you get the paint stroke that you um want and i think i like this one and this one but i think i'm gonna go with this one um and all you would do is just if you this is I'm using an apple so I just right click or double click save image as and that is I'll save it and it'll go to my download box and if you want to try to download different ones you can just in case you're not happy with that one um I always kind of download maybe one or two just to see which one I like best but I kind of like that one so you can also make um, paint strokes if you have a vector thing like ink space and so forth you can make paint strokes or you can just go straight to google and pick one to use all right so we have that done let me go ahead and minimize this and get back to Cricut so then we'll upload our paint stroke upload image browse go to my download open that up I always hit complex and then you just want to take the white out so all you do is just click the background and I'm just gonna click inside where it didn't quite hit and sometimes to avoid that you can always up your um, color tolerance so sometimes I use 30 oops not 390 30 and that usually works but sometimes you still have to kind of get inside you can always move the color tolerance up to whatever number and it will um take out most of the white or the background in your stuff you preview it see if that's how you want it and that's fine hit continue oops hit it as a cut image now you know what so this upload because this used to be over here this um new upgrade they did i always use it as a print and cut because you can always change it back to a print if you wanted to use it for something later on but you can always um use it as a cut so you would just change it to a cut then i will be using gold so then you'll just make this small and then you'll go over your letters so this will be what will cross your letters out let's see if I can grab it all right and it doesn't have to cross it out totally but you know you set it up the way you want it to look and then I'm just gonna duplicate well I duplicated it and you're just basically just finding your um words so there's day okay and I might have to ungroup this 
Okay. Because if you see my day, oops, I missed the letter. My day is not lined up, so you just want to make sure your letters are lined up. All right, so all you'll do is just keep going um, until you reach, you cover all your words into the word search, and then we'll go to the next step. So just really quickly, as I was trying to line the paint up on here, I realized that some of the letters were not lined up correctly. So I just have to go through each line and center them horizontally so they can line up correctly this is kind of tedious because i used the word search and i didn't um create the letters myself so it's kind of tedious and as you see some of the letters are not on the same line so i'll have to go through each line up vertically so it can line up correctly and horizontally so it'll line up correctly but i think this is a better way a faster way than doing it as far as a creating it by myself but I think I may take the time and just create a word search but for right for this for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use this pre-made word search and just try to correct it as you see me doing now so all you'll do is just go through each line and I think I need to add a letter back here. Yeah. So you just go through each line and you just try to line it up. Yeah, just line it up or move it over if you see it doesn't shift quite right you just want to line it up make it so it will flow and also not doing diagonal in the word search will make it a little bit easier as well um, if you just go like across and down it'll make it easier the reason I saw it was kind of janky <laughs> is because the um, name Shatira is diagonal so it wasn't quite lining up so if you do do this method I suggest just kind of doing it um, up and up and down so across and down versus having any words diagonally all right so I'm gonna get back to fixing this up
Okay, so once you have all of your words covered up with the um, paint stroke, you can just, you can remove it or you can leave it there. It's kind of up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and remove them so I can group my, oops, see, so I can group my words back together. There we go. All right, it looked like my paint stroke here went behind the word. So you can go on the side and hide it. And then I'm gonna hide this so I can group it. It just looks so jumbled. There we go. Okay. Let me see. I need to distribute vertically. All right, it ain't really moved too much. So I'm just going to group it all together. And you don't really even have to um bring your box back up. Just make sure you bring your paint strokes back up. I don't know, I can't see the other paint strokes. All right, so I'm going to group it. I'm actually going to weld them together so it's one cohesive thing. All right, so I welded it all together, so now it's just one big thing. And I'm going to show my paint strokes back you don't have to bring your square back up because you already know that is your it was just a template and then you're just going to go to make it okay so I don't know oh see maybe I don't know what is going on after this update Turn my because my it can't read my maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and then you'll just basically hit make it. And I'm trying to show you what it will look like on. I'm sorry, that's my machine coming back to life. All right, so I'm trying to show you what it'll look like on your mat, but for some reason it's not allowing me to hit make it so i'm going to figure that out <laughs> and because this optimizes my maker okay so it looks like my cricket wants to act up so anyway i'm going to figure that out and i'll be right back all right so for some reason i had to go ahead and click out of cricket design space and go in and just hit make it from the front where it says customize or make it i don't know what's going on since i um updated it but at any rate this is what your board will look like so i am going to go ahead and mirror it because i want it on the opposite side um and you'll see what i'm talking about once i put it together and then here are the paint strokes so you want to go ahead and mirror those as well. If you want to, you don't necessarily have to. It just depends on how you want the paint stroke to look once it is on your um, plexiglass. So I'm gonna go ahead and mirror mines and you can go ahead and push them together so it's not wasting too much um, vinyl. So I'm just gonna try to fit these up. And then you're just going to continue and you're going to make it so or cut it out I should say so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and then I will show you how to assemble your project all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take your plexiglass out of the box and you're going to take the black not the black the brown backing off and just be careful not to um, scratch your plexiglass so it's similar to the acrylics, how it has the covering or the plastic on one side. So that's all it is, it's just protecting the plexiglass. You're gonna peel it off, ta-da. 
And then you're gonna get some transfer tape and put it over top your letters. And let's go ahead. And just take your time weeding it because sometimes with vinyl, if you do a lot of vinyl projects, you know you will have difficulty weeding letters, but these letters are not little, so hopefully I don't run into any problems. Yep, there we go. One letter, this G. So my G didn't, looks like my G's didn't um, cut very well. They still want to stick up. So just take your time. And just make sure you don't have any letters left on your um, weeded part before you ball it up. Because I have done that, trust me. So then you can go in between each letter and weed it out. Or you can weed it onto your board. And I think I'm just going to weed it on my um, plexiglass. Alright, so. You know, oh, you know how to take the transfer tape. So typical vinyl project, get your transfer tape. You want to try to brandish your letters. So it's laying on to the transfer tape. Gonna take your time and pull the backing off. And some letters may stick, some letters may not stick. So just take your time peeling your backing off. Don't rush, it's not a race. Right. And then you're just gonna take your plexiglass and lay your letters on. And again, take your time. Once you stick it on there, it's pretty much stuck. Well, you hope so, anyway. And you just want to brandish it lightly just to make sure all your letters stick without any problems. And then just take your time peeling your transfer tape off. And 
just in case your letters are still stuck on the transfer tape. Just take your time, roll. So get low with it and just roll it back. And then you're going to put your transfer tape to the side, wherever you put it at. And because you can use it over and over again. All right. And you just get your weeding tool and then you'll just go inside gently. Try not to scratch your plexiglass and then do a reverse weeding on your letters. Now, again... <laughs> To weed out the um, brush strokes because they're so janky so that's why I say just make sure you can clean up your brush stroke um, then you're gonna take your transfer tape this transfer tape is kind of iffy sometimes it won't it will restick and then sometimes it does not so if yours does not restick like mine, you may have to get another um, piece of transfer tape. But I'm gonna try this out. All right, so you'll just take your paint strokes like such, and matter of fact, let me cut this. Cause I don't want it to accidentally stick on the wrong letter and you just remember where you put the paint stroke so this one was over this long name so let me bring this closer hopefully y'all can still see it And you just put your paint stroke right over those particular letters. Now this has a little overlap over that D right there. But that's fine. Okay, there we go. And you just pull it back. And then you just continue to place the letters, not the letters, the paint strokes where they go. So that is all brandish down. Oh! That is so it's all brandished down. Now this one right here, I wish I would have made it just a little bit thinner so it wouldn't overlap the other letters. You can go in with an X-Acto knife if you wanted to and kind of clean it up. Um, but right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. You'll just turn it over onto this side and remove your paper. And this is your final project. So this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. This is what it looks like right here. I'm losing my sun. <laughs> so it, uh, hopefully you can see it. Of course, I'll have it um, at the end where you can see it a little bit better. And it's also in the thumbnail. But this is what it looks like. So 
this is our final project. You can put this in a picture frame um, with a picture behind it of the mother. Um, that would be really cute, but with the um, the words will kind of be on the front, but you can have the picture of the mom or whatever in the back. Um, I have this picture frame right here. Of course, this is not my family, but just to give you an idea of what I'm trying to say, let me just put that down. I have had this picture frame since Mother's Day and still have not put a picture in there. Don't judge me, okay? But put this over here. But just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can put this in a picture frame and then it can have a picture of the mother with the kids behind it. You see how that is? So that will be really cute in a picture frame and it can be presented as a present that way. Or you could just have it like this without the picture in there with maybe like this, a white backing or a gold, back, whatever, or no backing at all. So you can make it however you want to make it. But this is a really cute idea for Mother's Day for that special mom. And it just says Happy Mother's Day. And it has the name of the two children that the mother has. And I think it's a really cute idea. It's not that expensive. And it's you have vinyl laying around, scrap vinyl to make the paint strokes. And the um, plexiglass wasn't that expensive. I got it off of Amazon. So I'll definitely put that in the description box below. All right, y'all. So that is pretty much it of our video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. I am going to be back on my videos um, because I had to catch up on other things that was happening, but I'm all caught up on that. So I am back to crafting. So here you go, everybody. Again, I hope you enjoy and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.